Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. Today's book is U.S. Army Small Unit Tactics Handbook. Uh, and this is by Paul D. LaFavor. LaFlavor? LaFavor? I'm going to go with LaFavor. Uh, so this is kind of, you know, as it says on the cover here, it's kind of the Special Forces Rangers Airborne kind of thing. This is, this is supposed to be for Special Forces units and kind of covering uh, small unit tactics for those units, which as it turns out, aren't terribly different than small unit tactics for regular army or, or whatever. This book is copyrighted in 2015, so it's fairly recent. And this comes in uh, five kind of main parts. Uh, the first part, the first like 150 pages is history, history of the special forces. Now, as a big fan of history, I did not find those pages particularly compelling, personally. Uh, I love history, I love military history. I just, for whatever reason, the, the, the history pages in this book didn't jive with me. That's just me, it might be totally different for you, but uh, it just it just wasn't connecting for me. But he goes through the history of the special forces and kind of how it comes from the, the OSS and the uh, Raider battalions and, and kind of all these different things that kind of pours into a, a special forces that, that starts to happen. So, um, you know, if, you, if you're into that and you want to know the deep histories behind the special forces units and stuff, this is good. This is good. The one part I did find extremely interesting about the history is he goes through all of the Medal of Honor winners uh, the Congressional Medal of Honor for people that were in the Special Forces. I think there's like 27, if I remember right, ish of them. And he kind of gives their little citations of, of, you know, why they got their medal. And, you know, half of them are posthumous, uh, posthumously, posthumously awarded. So that was extremely interesting and inspired me to uh, great thoughts and deeds of glory. And I thought that was super helpful, super insightful. So I would say, if you, even if you skip the history, don't skip that part. Um, read those. It, it's just amazing to read about these guys' uh, acts of bravery and just how they were doing shit in the middle of the battlefield. So, would highly recommend reading those at the bare minimum. Other than that, if you feel like skipping the history, you know, that's, that's up to you. Uh, part two is doctrine, right? So, again, that's, that's doctrine of how they're going to do stuff. What makes special forces special forces? Uh, kind of stuff, and uh, there's some definitely stuff to glean from there. He covers leadership, tactics, uh, stuff like that. Part three is planning, how you're going to plan stuff. Part four is operations, how you're going to actually do it. You know, you go here, we do this, this is how you cross the road, this is how you land navigate, this is how you set up a patrol base, stuff like that. And then part five, which is really short, is common skills. And that's just like the barest mention of how to load and unload an M4 or a machine gun or how to do basic tactical combat casualty care. I mean, stuff like that. So, that's it. This is a beefy book. It's like 400, almost 500 pages. Uh, so, you know, you're in, you're in for it. But this is a really good book, particularly if you have read more of the introduction level books like Small Unit Tactics by Max Velocity Tactical or Small Unit Tactics by Matthew Luke or uh, Light Infantry Tactics by uh, Christopher Larson. If you've read any of those books and you're kind of looking for the next level, um, I, I would recommend this book. It, it assumes you already know some basic concepts. So if you don't already know some basic concepts, you might be a little lost at points in this book. Uh, but assuming you do know those already and you, and you want to kind of go into, the, like I said, the next level, uh, this book is for you. This will be super helpful. Um, the way they talk about leadership, the way they talk about tactics and the different battle drills and all that stuff, I think it's extremely helpful. So I would recommend this, particularly if you've already read some other introductory books. I think it's a good read. I don't have too many bad things to say about this book. Uh, like I said, the history to me was whatever. Um, one of the bad things maybe is there, I think there was a chapter on, God, I can't remember now, maybe it was land navigation, but it was one of the most confusing chapters on land navigation I've ever read. Um, but you know, by and large, Highly recommended book, highly helpful. If you're interested in reading books about tactics and how to run units and stuff like that, I would recommend U.S. Army Small Units Handbook by Paul D. Lavore. I, Paul, I apologize for butchering your name. Do brave deeds and endure.